Hey guys, Opti here, and in today's tutorial, we will be learning how to skin for Gary's Mod, or Half-Life 2. Either way, it'll work in both games, don't be worried at all. So, first what I'm going to ask you to do is go to your Steam, and then just go offline. So go to File, and it should say Go Offline, right here. So click that and make sure that you go offline, or else the, uh, the whole process won't work. Then, I'm going to have you download some tools. Uh, one tool is called the GCF Scape. It allows you to open up and run things, uh, textures and folders containing textures for Half-Life and Gary's Mod, DoD, CSS, stuff like that. Then I'm going to have you download the VTF Editor. It just converts TGA files to uh, VTF files. VTF files are Valve texture files. Then I'm going to also, also have you download the GIMP. What the GIMP is, is it's just an editing program that allows you to handle uh, TGA files. So if you don't have Adobe Photoshop or PaintShop Pro or, you know, one of those editing programs that can handle a TGA file, I would suggest downloading the GIMP. So, let's get started, shall we? First of all, we're going to go to our starts, go to all programs. Then we're going to go find GCF Scape after you've installed everything. So click GCF Scape. Once GCF Scape is open, click File, Open, and then we have to navigate to our Steam Apps folder. So, go to My Computer, Local Disk C, or if you're a Vista user, OSC, Program Files, or if you're a Vista user, Program Files 86K, I believe. Search one of them. Once you're in Program Files, locate Steam. In Steams, Steam, locate Steam Apps. Now, in Steam Apps, you'll see a bunch of blue blocks, I believe, if you uh, did everything correctly, if you installed it all right. So, what we're going to do is not Gary's Mod Contents, but Source Materials. In Source Materials, find HL2, double click HL2. In HL2, find Materials, and in Materials, find Models. Now, in Models, you have a shitload of models to choose from, all the way from the Zombie Poison up to Alex in the Airboat. So, I'm going to be very generic, and I'm just going to do a skin for a thing that's already been done before. So, I'm going to locate Humans, which is under HEV Suit. So, double-click Humans. There's three groups, Male, Female, and Corpse. I'm going to click Male. Now, there's four groups in here, plus a lot of other files that we don't really need right now. Just click the first group, select it, right-click, and hit Extract. Now, extract it right to your desktop, so hit OK. Once we've done that, we're going to go to our desktop and create some folders. So, let me minimize this. Go to New, Full, Fuck. <laughs> new, Fuck. Cancel. Cancel. I'm just going to hit New, Folder. The folder's name will be Materials. After Materials, double click the Materials folder, right click inside that folder, and click New, Folder, Models. Inside of Models, make a new folder called Humans. Inside of humans, make a new folder called male. Now, that's good. And the reason uh, to do this an easier way, you can just backtrack from where you were. So, as you can see, uh, I'm in materials, models, humans, right here, male. So, we're going to exit GCF Scape. Make sure that you have both those folders on your desktop. Then, we're going to go to our editing program. Oh no, I'm sorry, not our editing program. My editing program handles VTF files, but if you do not have, um, I don't know, some computers are not set up the way to handle VTF files. So, what you need to do is go to Start, All Programs, Locate VTF Edit. It should be, you know, in the newer sections of programming, but locate it. Now we're going to go to File, Open, Navigate to Group 1. <clears throat> Inside of Group 1, you will see a lot of things. The things that have face map after them are just what the people look like. So you can change, uh, you can drastically change the way that the people, the way that the people look. Give them different features like tattoos, eyebrow piercing, stuff like that. But what we're going to want to do is edit their clothing. So I'm going to locate citizen sheet, and it should say type valve texture file, not valve material file. So locate the second one, double click it. If you open it, you'll see like pants, shirts, shoes strewn about like this. I'm going to click File, Export, Citizen Sheet to the Desktop. Just click Save. Now on the desktop, 
I see my little sheet. I'm going to go to my editing program, whether you use the GIMP or not, whatever you use. I'm going to go to File, Open, and we're going to go to Citizen Sheet. Mine's different from yours because I have skins on mine, whereas you do not have skins on yours currently. So, uh, let's see. Yours should look a little different. I can't really show you what yours would look. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. All right, anyway, let me close this thing real quick. All right, go to File, Open, Citizen Sheet. There we go. This is the way that yours should look, um, you know, black and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Image and Resize It. I don't know where your image resize is at, but yeah. So I'm going to resize it by 2048 by 2048. This will make the picture huge. There we go. So zoomed in at 100%, this is what the picture looks like. This is not how big your characters are going to be, it's just easier for editing. So, uh, we are going to edit this. So I will be right back. I'm just going to put some stuff on there. Okay, this is a skin that you saw earlier for uh, this. It's already a TGA file. So what I'm going to do is go to File, Save as Citizen Sheet. So C I T I Z E N underscore sheet. I'm going to save it as type T G A or a True Vision Tarja. So just click Save to the desktop. It'll ask you if you want to replace it. Just click Yes. Minimize that. Minimize that. Minimize this. Now we have our Materials folder. And we have our Group One folder. So what we're going to want to do is go to VTF Edit, or you just open the one that you already had. Click File, Import, or Control I. Locate your desktop. Find the citizen sheet. Now all this stuff is just, it, just leave it all default, and it'll take a little while to uh, generate the image. So I'm just gonna skip right to it. All right, guys, and I am back. As you can see, my skin is fucking humongous on this uh, little tiny sheet. Hey, look, YouTube. Ha, ah, that's what I'm. Anyway, so with this open, I'm just going to click File, Save As. And then I'm just going to retype the name as I see it. So citizen, I'm just going to select it, C-I-T-I-Z-E-N, sheet. But do not save it as a TGA format. So just citizen sheet, and it should say save as type VTF file. Click save. You're good there. Let me close this. Now, take the citizen sheet and put it in group one. It'll ask you if you want to uh, modify or overwrite the existing file. Click yes. Now in group 1, just move group 1 to materials. In materials, move group 1 to models. In models, move group 1 to humans. And in humans, move group 1 to male. Just so that way, you know, blah, blah, blah. This will make it a lot easier on you. Now we need to locate and find our Gary's Mod directory. So we're going to go to start, my computer. Inside of my computer, locate OS C or local disk C. Um, locate program files 86K or program files. Scroll all the way down until you find Steam. Locate Steam apps. Locate your username. Locate Gary's Mod. Gary's Mod. And then take the materials folder that you had. Drag it into there. It'll ask you if you want to uh, overwrite those ones too. So I'm just going to click materials. Models. Scroll down until you find humans. Mail. Group 01. There we go. That's awesome. I would suggest creating a shortcut from your uh, Gary's Mod folder right to the desktop. So right click and drag, basically, Gmod. Okay. Fucking Gmod folder. Okay. Alright, so I will see you in game. I will show you what it looks like in game. And uh, if you guys like this tutorial, please rate it. Five stars, four stars, one star. I don't care. I don't really give a shit. Um, if you guys would also like to see more tutorials on skinning things, I will have more of those up on skinning weapons, skinning your physics gun, uh, adding some different sprites to things, skinning other humans, stuff like that. So thank you guys very much for watching my tutorial. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace out, Negroes. Have a great day.